All right, I think I'm starting to figure this out. Uh, so welcome to step four. We've already talked about what the assignment is. We've talked about doing summary to introduce the story, and we've talked about making a thesis argument. So you've already done, in my mind, most of the work. Now all we're going to do is we're going to give examples and evidence of how to create a thesis defense. So this is body paragraphs. Now, quick word on body paragraphs. You've been calling them body paragraphs for a while, I bet. I'd rather call them thesis supporters in a lot of ways because what they do, they don't do much with the body. What they do is they support your thesis, okay? So body paragraphs are expanding on your thesis argument and they provide the actual evidence and explanation, okay? Your thesis argument was simple, maybe. And then your body paragraphs are gonna expand on that. They prove the thesis. Here is Bernie reminding you, once again, asking for you to relate this back to your thesis. All right, another way to think about it is Captain Planet. We've got Earth, Wind, Fire, uh, Heart, all right? And we've got all these miniature Captain Planets or individuals who come together to make one Captain Planet. Now, I don't think any of you were born in 1982, unless you're lost on the internet right now, welcome. So maybe this doesn't make sense, but the idea is that your thesis is all of your body paragraphs put together, okay? And then made into one strong statement. So we're gonna make the body paragraphs now to defend the thesis. This is the part where if you haven't used the organizer yet, I really recommend it because you will take everything from here and just create a paragraph. So first thing I do is I say, okay, what the first part of the journey I'm gonna talk about, we said I was gonna talk about crossing the threshold in the last video. I give a definition of that in my own words of what crossing the threshold is. Then I say where I see that happening in Theseus. And then I don't just end it there. I explain exactly how that fits the definition. And this is a big part. Some of you say this shows that that's the crossing of the threshold. No, I need you to really explain how this point in the story fits the definition. Now, you might realize it doesn't quite fit. And that's where this bottom part comes in, where it says, well, how is something different? So you can pause and read this to be brief, talk about crossing the threshold. And I say that he crosses the threshold when he goes from the pleasant daytime world through the dark, foul-smelling passages of the labyrinth as he crosses into that gate, through that gate, into the labyrinth. And I say, but... Somebody might say it's actually when he lands at the harbor at Crete. You would also say it's, you know, he knows he's leaving. He crosses the threshold as soon as he steps onto his boat off of the land in Athens. He has crossed the threshold. Don't shy away from talking about that. You can still talk about that. It makes it more interesting. I say, but most importantly, his fear. When he gets this fear, and there's no turning back from the fear that he's accepted, um, and is challenging, that's when he's crossed the threshold. So I still say it's the labyrinth door. I went ahead and copy pasted this into my body paragraph. Um, if you pause and read this, you will notice that everything that's not highlighted is just context or background that helps make it easier for the reader to understand how I connect my evidence about Theseus to the thesis. Theseus and thesis, which is just a statement about Theseus's hero journey. So. When you're doing this, remember, I'm reading this. I've never seen whatever anime you've talked about. Even if you're talking about a movie I have seen, help me out. Refresh my memory. Give me as much background info as you can so that this makes sense to me. Read over this. This is a great one to ask questions because you're going to do this three times. Two at least. But most of us will do it three. Okay, so you'll look at the three steps that you're focusing on. And with the organizer, parse out your thinking, define the step, say where it happens in your story, explain how you know it happens, and then how does it not quite fit or what's something special about it? And you'll turn that into your body paragraph. Hold on, my thesis changed. If as you write your ideas change, good. Your writing should change your thoughts. Make adjustments as you go, all right? If you want to change your mind, if you realize your thesis is different because your body paragraphs, change your thesis. Lastly, if you don't have any quotes because you're doing a movie, that's okay. Just describe things in depth. Make sure it ties back to your thesis. Lastly, you can go ahead and stop, fill out your organizer, put it into a body paragraph, do that again. Okay?